So let me just start by sharing with you my sample studio here. As you can see, when we search for power bar beach club, it probably wouldn't show up as you can see here, right? And that's the, the reason why is because right now, if you look at my page here, you would notice that I'm my title is called home and my description is actually missing. My keywords are missing. So this is not very good because if Google is actually crawling this page, there's nothing uh, to tell them who you are and all that. And how, how do you do that? And some of you might be asking, oh, Adrian, what tool is this that you're using to check all this information? It is actually called SEO Meta in one click. It's just a free tool that installs into your Chrome. And maybe I show you the difference between my this fake studio versus reserve website. So if you go to reserve website and I turn on this, you will see my title is actually fitness, wellness, spa management. I also have a nice description so that when Google is showing this page, uh, people can understand what the software is all about. We added some keywords, although keywords are no longer ranked much by Google anyway recently. And as you can see, how reserve now shows up is something like that where you will see title and you will actually see a nice good description uh, that people are reading and seeing. And that is very, very important for you, okay? Another thing you would notice is um, in the reserve page, you will see this little nice icon showing up. It actually does that for Facebook as well. It actually does it for SEO meta in one click as well. So I'm also gonna show you how you can do this um, for your reserve website. As you can see right now, it's showing a default icon, but this is not what you want, yeah? So let's dive into this. The first thing you need to do is to go into online store, okay? After that, maybe I'll show you how to do the custom favorite icon first. So you have to go into team setting. Under team setting, favorite icon. And as of now, as you can see, I have something already pre-installed. Um, so if I decide maybe not to use this, I can actually delete this away, okay? And actually then I can, so this is why this is actually showing this particular favorite icon, okay? I'm just gonna try with two different accounts so that you can have a look at the results. So now I'm just gonna go into here and, um, before anything, I would like to introduce you to another website to create your icon. So as you can see, I already have a nice icon uh, that I created. And right now, I'm just gonna actually download that icon and then put it in this um, website. So let me just start doing that. And you can see, I have just uh, put an icon here. Now I download, yeah? Now that I download my favorite icon, I'm just gonna find the icon. And now going back to here and looking at this icon, let me just hang on, log into my Forex account. Login. And now if I go into online store, Customize, team setting, favorite icon. I'm just gonna look for the icon that was just created. Upload, save. And now if you take a look at this page, you would see you have a nice little icon that shows up. And this is actually very good for branding. But now I have not yet improved my description and keyword and Google is actually not going to be able to find my page. At the same time, as you can see, if I try to share this page 
on social media, which I'm going to do now, you would also notice that nothing is appearing. It just says home and there's no image. Not very, very good, right? So how do you actually improve this? Let's go back to the back end. And let's go to pages. Actually, we should go to pages. Yeah. So this is the home page. Yeah. So I'm just going to look for the home page under pages. Click on here, SEO. And now, rather than say calling this home, I'm just going to call it power bar yoga beach club. Okay, so I'm just going to be able to say, um, how about you guys, the best club in Sentosa. You can join our Hatha Yoga. Lattes and bar classes starting from SGD $30, something like that. Okay, so this will now be your description. You can even actually add an optional um, sharing image. So essentially, you might be asking what is actually optional sharing image. So you see this image here? So can I open this? Maybe crop this a little bit. Done. And see, I have now created a page title, a description, and a social sharing image. I do a save right now. And if I do a refresh, what you'll notice immediately is I have a proper title that Google is actually going to be able to crawl and display my page correctly. I have my description here as well, right? So these are actually the more important thing that you need to do. Like I say, keywords are something that actually Google stop ranking for, yeah? So the most important thing you need to do is your title and description. Okay, now that you have done the title, description as well as your social sharing image, if you were to copy your website URL and go to a social platform and share the link, it will now automatically pull up a nice image, title as well as description so that you don't have to type everything again and it actually automatically picks up everything and you can just go ahead and do a little short slogan or title or description and then post away. This is how you should be actually setting up each and every of your page. Another thing that you can do, which uh, a lot of studios are already doing, is let me just start sharing my website again. Is the fact that you can actually use your own domain name. So as you can see here, rather than having powerbaryoga.reserve.co, some studios prefer to have their own domain name, and it will look something like that. This is how it looks like, uh, so that the reserve.co is no longer there. Um, how you do that is essentially, you just have to buy a domain name. Usually we encourage clients to buy the domain name from GoDaddy. After that, all you need to do is go online store, domain, and connect your domain name. And that's how you get your nice, unique domain name when people are searching for your website. And the final thing that maybe I want to share with you is how you can actually utilize our built-in blogging features to start writing content. Um, content marketing is really important for you because Google again draws all the keyword that you put in this page so that when people are searching for a certain article, your gym page, your studio page shows up, right? So how do you do that? Essentially, you just have to go to online store again and under blogs, this is where you can actually create all your different 
categories. As you can see here, this is wellness. And then in this article, I put lifestyle, right? So firstly, tagging is really important for you. So this is the type of blocks that you want. And create the block type. After that, within each block itself, you just have to add block and type away. But I'm just going to show you a page that uh, you've already pre-created where I gave it a title. I gave it some nice images and I start typing away, as you can see here. And in here, you can continue to add more images, links, as well as video. Video, we usually encourage you to host it on YouTube and uh, yeah, and, and, and add the link here. At the same time, even for your blog page, we allow you to again do the exact same thing, which is to optimize your page title and your description. Okay, so once you've done that, you can continue then to choose the correct um, block type. You can add more subcategory. You can even put tagging. As you can see, I put lifestyle and wellness. And that is why this article here, this specific article is under lifestyle as a block type. But in terms of tagging, it is tagged with lifestyle wellness. So as you write more and more article, tagging is really good because if I'm a client and I want to know all wellness type article, by clicking that, it automatically shows up. But nutrition, if I click on nutrition tab, it will show up as well, okay? And another really cool feature we have, which a lot of people have been asking is, Adrian, uh, can I in create my own custom page? And how do I do that? So essentially, if you like to add custom page here um, to your navigation bar, you can. So all you need to do is to go to pages. And I actually created a unique about us page here that I have hidden. But now I'm just going to show you how the page looked like is I created a about us an image and I actually typed some stuff about what our uh, beach club is all about. And at the same time, as you can see, I also optimized our SEO and added a image, a social sharing image again. So what I've done here is then I'll save and exit. After that, I go to navigation okay and find the exact page which i name um uh let me just find the page here so essentially maybe this is the page that i created and i want to add a personal training page here you go personal training i add now i can actually add a personal training here and if I come back to here and do a refresh of this page, you can see I've added a personal training tab. And as you can see, my custom page has been created so easily. Okay. And I would encourage you to start writing more content. And if you need to create your uh, custom pages on top of having all the other uh, features on your website. Okay. So I think that is uh, all I'm going to share with you today. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, it should teach you a lot more about um, SEO and optimization. Okay. Thank you, everyone.